The United Nations Biodiversity Conference, COP15, concluded in Montreal, Canada on December 19, 2022 with the adoption of the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework, GBF. The GBF is a plan to address biodiversity loss, restore ecosystems, and protect indigenous rights. It includes measures to protect 30% of the planet and 30% of degraded ecosystems by 2030 and proposals to increase funding for developing countries. The conference, which was chaired by China and hosted by Canada, was held over the course of two weeks and was attended by representatives from 188 governments. The situation for nature is dire, with the planet experiencing its largest loss of life since the dinosaurs and one million plant and animal species facing the threat of extinction. This loss is largely due to human activity. The GBF includes four main objectives for protecting nature, preventing human-caused extinction of threatened species and significantly reducing the extinction rate for all species by 2050, sustainably using and managing biodiversity to ensure that the benefits provided by nature are valued, maintained, and improved. Fairly distributing the benefits from using genetic resources and related digital sequence information and ensuring that the necessary resources are available to all parties. Especially least developed countries and small island developing states to implement the GBF. The United Nations Environment Programme, UNEP, Executive Director, Inga Anderson, emphasized the importance of implementing the GBF. The GBF also includes 23 targets to be achieved by 2030, including protecting at least 30% of the world's land, coastal areas, and oceans, restoring 30% of terrestrial and marine ecosystems, nearly eliminating loss of areas of high biodiversity and ecological integrity, having global food waste, phasing out or reforming subsidies that harm biodiversity and increasing positive incentives for biodiversity conservation and sustainable use, mobilizing at least $200 billion per year from public and private sources for biodiversity-related funding, increasing financial flows from developed to developing countries to at least $30 billion per year, and requiring transnational companies and financial institutions to disclose risks and impacts on biodiversity through their operations, portfolios, supply chains, and value chains. Finance was a central issue at COP15, with discussions focusing on the amount of money that developed countries will provide to developing countries to address biodiversity loss. It was proposed that the Global Environment Facility establish a special trust fund, called the GBF Fund, to support the implementation of the GBF in order to ensure a sufficient, predictable, and timely flow of funds. Countries also approved a series of related agreements to implement the GBF, including those on planning, monitoring, reporting, and review, which are essential to ensure progress and prevent an acceleration in the global rate of species extinction, which is already significantly higher than the average over the past 10 million years.